Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can create SharePoint pages without header. When you create a new SharePoint page, you have always the classic header where you can define a background image and the title. However, this header is quite limited. You cannot change the style of the title and you cannot even set a background color. I walk you through every step to create pages without header. This gives you a great flexibility to build your own header. Ok, let's get started. Here I am in SharePoint, this is my home site. When you click on the new button to create a new page or news post, what you have here is the ability to choose what kind of template, let's start with blank, create page, and then you have this classic header area, where you can define the title, a person as a reference, and then the background image. This is what you have. Every time that you want to create a page with the header, you have this, this area. Now, if you want to avoid some limitation with this area, what you can do here is reuse this home page. When you create a new SharePoint site, what you have, you have a known page automatically deployed. You can copy this home page and reuse it for your other and additional pages in the site. All you need to do is just go on the site contents and open the site pages document library. Let me do that set pages. Now here I have to identify my home page. Now let me go down. I have here the home page. Now I'm going to click on the ellipsis button and then copy to. I'm going to target the same document library, set pages, copy here. I have a lot of pages here. It means that I have to click on the button show all and now theoretically I can see the just copied page here available, home1.aspx. This is my home page just copied. I can edit this page and then I can start to play with it. So let me remove some content inside here because I don't want to duplicate exactly the content of the home page, but I want to create a new experience, a new content here. So for example, let's start to define the, the title. So I can define my own header. To do that, I'm going to place a text web part and then here I can type something. Let's be original custom header, then I can assign the alignment, center, color. You can have a different sides of the text. For example, let me select header one again in the center and here we go. This is my header. Now I can add a background color. To do that, I'm going to edit this section where the web part is placed and then I can use this background color, the red for example. This is related with the theme of the site. This means that I can change the background color here by going uh, on the wheel icon here and then on change the look and then you have a bunch of existing temps that you can reuse. You can build your own tem if you want. I made a video how you can do that. But let's say that it's fine, this, this color. I can publish the page. I can let me remove just this section. I want to have something uh, very easy, just some content inside. I can even remove this other section. I want to have just this uh, quick links web part and, and then I'm going to remove this other one and documents below. Here we go. This is my new page. I have more control on the header because here I can customize and change the style of this title, which represent my custom header. I can add more content, an image. I can make it more captivating. So let's say that I'm ready to publish this page. And as you can see right now, I have my page without the classic header. So this is the way that you can follow to clone the existing home page, which has a different page layout from the classic pages. Now I will use a Power Automate flow to show you that every page has a specific page layout. Let me jump on this tab and here I have a very classic Power Automate flow 
that I will trigger manually. And here I have just one action. I will use the SharePoint connector, send an HTTP request to SharePoint. I'm going to target my home site. This is a get method. And then I'm going to use this endpoint. Underscore API slash site pages, pages get by URL. And then I'm going to get the home.aspx page. Let's run this flow manually. Run flow. Done. And now we are going to see the result of this action. Here we go. Here I have the result. And I'm going to search right now for a layout. Let me go down. And here we go. I have this attribute, this property, page layout type, and this is home. This is the page layout without the classic header. And this page layout follow only the home page. That's the reason why if you want to have and duplicate this page, you have just, just to copy the home page. This is the only option that you have. You can automate this thing by using Power Automate, for example. But if you want to have a more dynamic way to handle and flexible way, I would say, to handle the header, you can use this approach. All right, we have seen in this video how to create SharePoint pages with custom header. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.